In this video, I'm going to show you how to use bucket sort to sort an array of numbers from least to greatest. The first thing we see here is that there are six numbers. We have 31, 2, 30, 1, 100, and 0. So we're going to create six buckets labeled from 0 to 5. Now we just figure out which number goes into which bucket. And luckily, there are two formulas that we can use. The first one is normalize is equal to num divided by max plus one. And don't worry, I'm going to show you how to use it. And the second formula is bucket number equals int n times normalized. What is max going to be? Well, max is the largest number in the array, which is 100. And 100 plus one is 101. As well, what is n? n is the number of elements inside the array, and there are six numbers, so n is six. We're going to start with 31 and put 31 into num. So now normalize is 31 divided by 101, and we put this fraction into this part, so we get six times 31 over 101, which is approximately 1.84. And what is the int function going to do? It's going to get rid of whatever is behind the period. So it's going to get rid of 84, and we have 1. So what does this mean? This means that 31 goes into bucket number 1, like this. Let's repeat the process for number 2. We put 2 into num, so we have normalized is 2 over 101. We put this fraction into here. Then we multiply these together, we have 0 0.12, and we're going to get rid of the 12th part, because it's behind the period, so we have 0. So 2 goes into bucket 0. Same thing with 30, we put 30 into num, then we put this fraction into normalize, we multiply, we get 1.78, and then we get 1. So 30 goes into bucket 1, and it's going to go right after, like this. As well, for 1, we just put it in here, then put the fraction into here. We multiply, we get 0 0.06, which turns out to just be 0. So 1 goes into bucket 0. Same thing with 100. We have 100 over 101. We put it in here, times 6, we get 5.94. And then we put into the int function, we have 5. So 100 goes into bucket 5. And on to the last number, which is 0. So we have 0 over 101, which is just 0. And then we have 6 times 0, which is just 0. And int of 0 is, guess what? Also 0. So that's going to go into bucket 0. And we're almost done. So in this part, it might sound strange, but bucket sort actually uses another sorting algorithm. And that is insertion sort. I already made a video on this, but here it's going to use insertion sort to sort each number inside the buckets. So insertion sort on this part, we're going to get 0, 1, 2, and then this is going to be 30 and 31, and then these are empty, so we can just ignore them, and 100 will just stay as is. And finally, we will just take the content and put it into an output list. So just take this, put in here, we have 0, 1, 2, take this, Added to the end, 30 and 31, and 100 added to the end. And now this is the output, and we have the sorted list. Let's take a look at the Python code. So, this is the Python code for insertion sort. I already covered this in one of my previous videos. I'll link it down in the description. And then let's go on to bucket sort. So, this part is just returning the array if the array is empty. That's straightforward. And then for this part, we're just creating the empty buckets. And then this part is just using the two formulas and going through each number and putting them into the correct bucket. And then this part is using insertion sort to sort the buckets. And the last part is just combining all the buckets into our output list. You can use this part to test our code. And just note that all the numbers must be greater than or equal to zero. And decimals are okay. So that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.